Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Jaeger the Viking here, bringing you some UFC Undisputed 3, bringing you an episode of career mode here. And I'm coming off a devastating loss in my UFC debut. You know, it took an unfortunate loss via decision. Really would have liked to come out on top, start out in the UFC well, but that's just not the way the cookie crumbled last fight. So, you know, hopefully this fight comes out a bit better. I've got a 5-inch reach advantage. This guy does have better stand-up than me. You know, he's got better stand-up stats. But with my 5 inches of reach, I think we should be about even standing. His clinch game is slightly better than mine, but, you know, it's not much better than mine. I think his advantage is so slight that I should be able to do pretty well in the clinch in this one. And I'm demonstrating some skills in the clinch right now. I'd say I'm off to a good start in the clinch game. Connected with some nice knees, doing a good job making sure I'm always in the dominant position in the clinch here. Kind of controlling him. I really haven't been in a position in the clinch right now where, you know, I've felt like he's in a position where he can deal any damage. So, you know, off to a great start. Nice knee right there. Let's see if I can keep this up. If I can just keep controlling him in the clinch all fight, this is going to turn out well for me. Connecting with some nasty knees. Oh, now he finally gets the takedown. I do have an advantage on the ground, so let's see if I can get on top of him and do something. Right now, I'm trying to get him off me, but not doing a good job with that. All right, come on. I need to make sure I can get him off. All right, just going to see. Not going to let him transition here. I guess I'll have the ref stand us up. Yeah, I'll, I'll just hold it out, let the ref stand us up. Nothing's going to happen. I'm just going to keep grapple blocking here, waiting for the ref. Here he comes. Now coming to save me, so... Now let's see what I can do here. I think I'm just going to go for a takedown. See if I get it. No, not quite. He's able to sprawl. Going for yet another takedown. This time it is stuffed yet again. Let's see. Come on. Ah, nice shot right there on his end. Ooh, dropped me right there. I don't even know how. But ooh, dropped me again. Jeez, I need to start watching out. He just dropped me with two straight shots. Going for a third takedown, and again, it is stuffed. He is not letting me take him down. Gonna have to do it from the clinch. Here we go. Got side control. Let's see what I can do with it. Grapple blocking there, and let's see if I can transition it all. Now, he's gonna get the reversal. Round's almost over, though, so just gonna hold him down till the end of the round. At the end of the first round, I'd say it's a pretty solid matchup so far. I did a really good job in the clinch in the beginning. I thought I'd be able to do a good job on the ground in this one, but I feel like I'm getting dominated on the ground. I've had three takedowns stuffed. Uh, he's reversed something. There's that leg kick that dropped me, and then I get right back up, but he drops me with an uppercut when I go in for a takedown. But, you know, or was I going in for the clinch? I don't even know, but... You know, he's done a good job stuffing my takedowns. He had that reversal on the ground there. Just overall, I really need to improve on the grounds here. That's where I have the advantage, and that's the place where I'd say I'm doing the worst so far. So, you know, we'll see how it goes. But going to go for another takedown. This time I get it, stuffing it and trying to get me off. And let's see. Maybe I can get oh, almost connected with an elbow from there. That would have been great if I could have connected with some nice shots. But he did not allow me to. Let's see, can I get the separation I need to start throwing some elbows here? Nah, alright, come on. I'm trying to see if he'll try to push me off here, alright. Now let's try to transition. want to try to get the separation to throw elbows, but he is really not letting me do it. I, oh, it's so annoying, but here we go. He's on top of me, and I'm going to have to push him off. Alright, come on, push up, missed it. Alright, he's, ooh, got me mounted, jeez. All right, I need to, um, he's just going to stand up. He had me mounted. I get him out of there, though, fortunately, and then you know, he just gets right off me. I don't know why. He was doing a pretty good job on the ground there as I connect with a nice hook, but then he bounces back and connects with a nice uppercut. You see he's starting to bleed a little. That's always a good sign, but let's see if we can push him off. Ooh, he's going to trip me, and I fail to get him off. He's in side control. Really not a good position for me right here. Alright, let's see. Just gonna grapple block a bit. Now he's trying to stand up, I think. Or he tried to stand up. I don't know if they'll try to do it again. But there we are, able to push him off. No, ooh, missed with the hook. Oh, jeez, missed with another hook. And he is connecting with some really nasty hooks. I need to watch out here. I'm missing, and he's connecting, and it is just not a good situation for me. But here we go, back in the clinch and doing a good job just backing him up. See if we can back him all the way back to the cage. 
There we go against the cage, and ah, uh, he just gets right out of there, but ooh, managed to get the takedown. I went for the knee in the clinch, and he did not let me connect. Just countering that with a nice takedown right there. Fortunately, I'm able to stand up, but let's see. Ooh, missing with that uppercut. That would have been nice if I could have connected. Ooh, kind of hit him with that one. You know, it didn't really do much damage, but it did skim him, so... No, we'll see, but ooh, both of us have taken a lot of head damage. I haven't even paid much attention to that. I need to start being a little cautious right now. Need to make sure I don't get hit in the head too hard. And there we go, connecting with a couple nice shots at the end of the round, but really nothing spectacular. And going into the third round, I'd say this is a really good matchup. You know, having too many transitions reversed, and they can't take much more damage to the head. So... I'm just going to be targeting the head, but got to make sure I protect my own head. Now, this has been a good matchup. We've both done a bit in the clinch. I've definitely won the clinch department, but, you know, he has done a bit there. We've both dealt a similar amount of damage. You know, we both connected with some nice strikes standing. I'd say he's doing a better job than me on the ground, which is something I definitely need to work on. I'm getting a bit frustrated with it. Let's see. Going to try to get him on the grounds here from the clinch. Going for a suplex, but he's not going to let me. And, ooh, he connects with a nice shot. Oh, God. I really need to start protecting myself. I cannot let this happen. But I don't know what to do. I'm trying to find the balance between being aggressive and being smart. And I am having trouble finding it. Uh, don't want to let him get that separation. Tried to push him off, but he did not allow me to. He is connecting with some nice elbows and side control. I cannot have that happening. I've got the cage right here. I'm wondering if I should try to use it to get up. Nah, it just pushed him off. Didn't have to use the cage. All right. Ooh, nice hooks right there. Connected with two solid hooks, followed by an uppercut. I don't know how he's taken so much damage to the body. I have thrown some kicks to the body, but I can't say I've done you know, a spectacular amount of body damage. But Or I have done a solid amount of damage, but he gets the knockout from the mount. Damn it. Ah. Oh. That's two losses in a row. This is not good for me. Getting into the UFC and not doing much with it. You know, really not impressing the UFC fans early in my career. You know, Did so well in the WFA. Moved up to the UFC. And it's just not working out for me. But you know, it is what it is. Hopefully next fight will be a better one for me. Ah, there it is. You know, he managed to land on top of me. I didn't manage to suplex him. He gets on top and then just knocks me out with a solid right right there. But anyway, that's the end of this video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did enjoy it, I would really appreciate if you dropped a like. Anyway, that's it, guys. Unfortunate loss. Hopefully next one's better for me. I'm out.